Hey there. Today, we're going to learn about classes in Python with a simple example. Let's say my friend John and I are car lovers. Suppose we have our supercars. Mine is a Ferrari with 800 horsepower and a top speed of 340 kilometers per hour. And John has a Lamborghini with 750 horsepower and a top speed of 350 kilometers per hour. Now, if I want to represent these supercars in my Python program, and instead of manually tracking all these details, brand, horsepower, and top speed, like this, I can use something called a class in Python. A class in Python is a blueprint for creating objects, allowing you to define attributes and methods to model real-world entities. So here, I have an example of a class called supercar. Below it, I've created two variables called my car for my Ferrari and John car for John's Lamborghini. When we create a class object in Python, the dunder init method runs automatically. This method initializes the object and handles the inputs. For example, when creating my car, we provide the brand name Ferrari, horsepower of 800, and a top speed of 340 kilometers per hour. Similarly, for John's car, we will provide the brand name Lamborghini, a horsepower of 750, and a top speed of 350 kilometers per hour. Up here, the self variable is supplied automatically and is always placed as the first parameter. We don't have to call it as self, but that's the common naming convention. It's used to refer to the specific object of the class that is being created or modified in memory. So now, let's say we want to print the top speed of each car. For that, we can write print, then open parentheses. Inside the parentheses, type an F for F string, followed by double quotes. Inside the quotes, type my car's top speed is colon, then curly braces. Inside the curly braces, write my car dot top speed. And finally, type kilometers per hour after the curly braces. Now we will do the same for John's car. After this, we simply run our program. Once we run the program, you can see that it prints the original values we set when we created the cars. Next, we can also add some functionality to these classes. Let's say I want to increase the speed of my supercar by 80. I can add a method in this class called increase speed, which just takes self.topspeed and adds 80 to it. So now what we can do is call my car dot increase speed down here. Then let's print my car dot top speed and John car dot top speed again. When we run this, we'll see that my car's speed has increased by 80, while the speed of John's car remains the same. You can probably see how having these separate objects with their unique attributes can be extremely useful in object-oriented programming. Hopefully, this helped you understand classes in Python. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.